Dear students, now we are going to discuss pulse circuits. Let's start with the definition of pulse signal. It is a unidirectional and non-sinusoidal signal. It is similar to a square signal, but it is not exactly symmetric to the square signal. Okay, it is similar to a square signal. It indicates on and off state of the signal. This is the ideal form of pulse signal, which is having a sharp end. This is the practical form of the pulse signal. Here, the pulse shape is formed by a rapid or sudden transient change from base to higher or lower level and return to the base level. Okay, so that is called as a pulse signal. A series combination of pulse signals is known as pulse train or train of pulse signals. Okay, so next one is pulse circuits. Any electronic circuits which can generate the pulse signals and process the pulse signals are known as pulse circuits. Examples for this pulse circuits are multi vibrators, time based generators, UJT relaxation oscillator, etc. Let's discuss each type in detail in this one. Okay. Next, we are going to discuss the terms related with the pulse signals. For that, we can consider the practical pulse signal. First one is pulse width. It represents the length of the pulse. Okay. So next one is period of the pulse signal. So here it is the measurement from any point on one cycle to the same point on the next cycle. So this distance is known as period of the waveform. Okay. So next duty cycle. It is the ratio of the pulse width to the period of the waveform. Okay. Then the rise time. It is the time taken to raise the signal from 10% to 90% of its maximum amplitude. So in this diagram we can see this. So here the time taken by the signal to rise from 10% to 90% is known as rise time. Similarly fall time. Fall time means the time taken by the signal to fall from 90% to 10%. That is known as fall time. So here undershoot. Undershoot means what? It is occur when the trailing edge, okay, that is the falling edge of a waveform exceeds its minimum value. So its minimum value is here means if it exceeds its value that is called as a undershoot. Similarly, overshoot. Overshoot means what? It is occur when the rising edge, okay, so the rising edge of a waveform exceeds its maximum value that is called as overshoot. Do you all understand this point? Here fall time, it is the time taken to fall from 90% to 10% of its maximum amplitude. Here undershoot means what? It is occurred when the trailing edge of the waveform exits its minimum. Next one is wave shaping circuits. These are the circuits which are mainly used to alter the shape of the signal. There are two types of wave shaping circuits available, linear wave shaping circuits, non-linear wave shaping circuits. In this linear, the process of altering the non-sinusoidal signal through a linear network is called as linear wave shaping. So here, the process of altering or changing the sinusoidal signal through a non-linear network is called as non-linear wave shaping circuit. The inputs can be a step signal, pulse signal, ramp signal or exponential signal. For this non-linear we can use only the sinusoidal signal. Here examples are RL circuits, RC circuits. Here clipper, clamper etc. Okay.